two SVM subsystems intended to improve the detection and localization capabilities of the SOSIS system are RTSP and COPS. COPS means computer-oriented partial sum. This SVM subsystem is an improved beamformer. Unlike the conventional magnetic or electronic delay line beamformers, the computer-oriented partial sum features steerable beams in addition to the fixed surveillance beams. The steerable feature improves bearing and localization estimates and avoids signal losses when the target is located between fixed beams. The beams formed by COPS can be processed by the conventional digital spectrum analyzer or the SVM real-time signal processor. The RTSP is an improved spectrum analyzer which can process beam data from either the COPS or the conventional beam formers. The RTSP can detect weaker target signals than the DSA and has improved displays of the acoustic data especially at lower frequencies of the broadband displays. RTSP extended holding time 20 to 30 percent over conventional DSA equipment against injected threat targets and double the holding against actual threat targets. Thus, continuous coverage over a broad frequency range and a large spatial area is provided. An important feature of the RTSP is HIRADS, Hybrid Resolution Analysis and Display System. HIRADS collects and stores acoustic data from threat frequency bands processed at sensitive supervernier or vernier resolution for all beams. This data is automatically recalled and displayed on the 96 broadband writers every two hours. RTSP is installed at ADAC, Argentia, Bermuda, and Centerville. Both RTSP and COPS are installed at Keflavik and Brody, while COPS only is at Barbados. RTSP's major components are an analog input cabinet, it accepts incoming beam data from designated local arrays, selected beams from other local arrays, or remote beam data via the secure acoustic data relay. At sites with a COPS beam former, the analog input cabinet would be replaced by a band shift filter converter. A beam signal processor, which is a signal processing computer. Incoming digital beam data is spectrum analyzed at both broadband and supervernier resolutions. These data are further processed for use in automatic detection and parameter estimation. A writer interface buffer. It accepts unsummed spectral data and annotation data from the beam signal processor and displays it on conventional loafergram writers. An interactive display console. This equipment interfaces the operator to the real-time signal processor. It provides a CRT display and hard copy for some of the RTSP functions and an operator control keyboard. The difference in appearance of the low frequency region of the broadband RTSP and DSA loafergram is caused by the absence of the whitening effects of the automatic gain control of the DSA equipment. The NSE process of the RTSP eliminates these effects. The operator is alerted to a detection on the interactive display console. The operator can also call up a history of alerts. Hard copies are also available. Let us illustrate HIRADS in live action. At two hour intervals, all broadband beam coverage is stopped and two and one-half hours of stored supervernier and vernier data is presented in a time-compressed loafergram format. Since supervernier and vernier is more sensitive due to narrower resolution, it can pick up weaker target signals. It also allows supervisory personnel to efficiently monitor all beams for specific threat lines. The real-time signal processor is installed alongside the existing SOSUS digital spectrum analyzer equipment. It is interfaced to the beam data at the universal interface box. RTSP data is displayed on existing station loafergram writers. The FLAD channels would generally be placed on important beams from station arrays not being processed by RTSP. 
The operator would then check the RTSP display for the appropriate array and beam. He would observe both the broadband display and the HIRADS information for the appropriate threat band. The operator can attempt to determine if the alert is related to any previous SVAA. The alert message can be passed to the communications processor for transmission to the main evaluation center. In this case, the operator observes a line probably associated with the alert on HIRADS. This is classified as a possible threat and will be reported to the MEC. The RTSP operator determines various target parameters from the display such as frequency, bandwidth, stability, bearing, and using the communications processor prepares a message to the main evaluation center reporting the target information. Certain information is automatically input from the RTSP. The capabilities of the RTSP are complementary to those of the other SVM signal processing systems such as SPEAR and the interarray processors. For example, SPEAR and RTSP can provide the frequency and beam information necessary to perform interarray processing for improved localization and tracking. The unique features of the real-time signal processor in conjunction with the computer-oriented partial sum beamformer, provide not only continuous broadband coverage over a broad frequency range and a large spatial area, but increased detection sensitivity against weaker signals and quieter or more distant targets.